John Polrai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I want to talk about a YouTuber and somebody who works in the Justice Department in the United States named Rob from Rob's Rules. And Rob actually got some feedback from Amber Heard's friend, Eve Barlow. Now, the thing is, Eve said, you know, some pretty untrue things. She had no idea who Rob is. Rob's been working in the court systems for over 25 years. He's actually a stand-up guy, a great guy with a family. And of course, a lot of people like Eve, who protect Amber Heard, assume that people like me and people like Rob and probably people like you are trolls and sexist and basement dwellers and things like this. They don't want to think that there are good intentioned people, intelligent people, and people with loving families, by the way, who are actually against Amber Heard and the things she's done. They want to make it seem like it's trolls and losers and internet people who don't know the facts and things like that, which is very, very far from the truth in this case, especially with Rob. Now, I'm sure a very, very, very small portion of the fan base is trolling. They're not so good at what they do. They don't know the facts, blah, blah, blah. They live in the basement. But, you know, most of us are just good, decent people who have seen some really serious evidence on Johnny Depp's side, and we've seen zero evidence or even negative evidence on Amber's side. So, I want to touch upon what she said. I clipped out some things, and I want to kind of respond to Rob's video a little bit. Rob knows things, I'm sure, that are going to go way over my head as far as the law and legalities and judges and lawyers and things like that. But I probably know a thing or two about social media that Rob maybe didn't think of and jumped the gun on. So the first point I want to make is Rob said, well, I can't respond to Eve. You know, that's really bad. She blocked me and blocking someone, I'd say, yeah, he's right. She shouldn't block anyone. However, he did say she shut off her mailbox, which is very acceptable. A lot of people who have some kind of name in the media, in the community, who are kind of a little bit bigger and famous, you could say, do shut off their mailbox. It's kind of a common thing. He also says it's okay if Amber or Eve wants to contact him, which is fine. That's up to him, but I probably wouldn't expect anything from them. He also says he hopes that she has a great life. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I don't wish anything bad on Eve. I wouldn't wish anything, you know, aside from her maybe getting some kind of wake-up call in reality, but I don't think I'd phrase it as have a great life. I'd say have a life, an average life, something like that. So anyway, let's get into the actual tweets and things she said. Here we see the first thing she tweeted out, and obviously you can see Rob's picture right there in the tweet. She says, beyond all the Hamas fans and Bernie bros, there are deranged man children in their bedrooms who make 10 minute videos about me. It's like fan fiction, but hate fiction. Is hate fiction a thing? Wow, laugh out loud. That was funny, Eve. Okay, so here's the thing. I have a problem with the word hate, but I'll get to that a little later because I want to see what else she said and talk about that, which is more directly relevant. First of all, this is Rob's response video. My message to Eve Barlow. Eve Barlow insults me on Twitter. Now, I don't use her name in video titles because here's the thing. To me, she's completely irrelevant except for the fact she's getting involved in Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's business. Aside from that, we don't need to know her, think about her, or ever see her again. And that's a point I want to make continuing in this next clip out. Here she says, People I've never met who don't know me have become very obsessed with me and it's kind of intense. Well, here's the thing. Like I just said, and the reason I said it is, I don't care who she is, what she thinks, her personality, what she looks like. I am not obsessed with her. You can say I'm obsessed with seeing justice and seeing things that are supposed to happen, happen. For example, when I see the LAPD body cam footage, and I know Amber Heard lied because of it, and I know she lied about charity donations because she's on TV saying it, and I know she committed perjury in Australia, well, I'm obsessed with seeing justice done to a known criminal, okay? So if Eve is going to get involved in that, then yes, of course, we're going to make videos on her 
We're going to keep covering her. We're going to keep talking about her. But the second she removes herself from Depp vs. Heard, we don't care. An obsession would be, I'm obsessed with Eve, Eve, Eve. Nope, doesn't matter. And I hope that I never have to make another video on her again, but if she keeps sticking her nose in this stuff, then I guess I will. Okay, kind of went off track a little bit, but not really. Next she says, anyway, boxing, a pepper spray, and having a six pack is my insurance. From what? From protecting yourself against people who make YouTube videos about you, who have families, who work in a court? I'm not gonna reveal what I do for a living, but let's just say it's not something you'd be scared of. I'm married. We're all good guys. So putting this stuff out there, like she's scared, it's an obsession, is just, it's laughable and frustrating at the same time, but mostly laughable. And she wants to know what the fiction is. That's the real fiction. The real fiction is that Rob, or a guy like him, could be dangerous and scary. I don't know who believes her, but for those people, I feel really bad for you. I'm sorry. She's really got things mixed up here. Then she says, there's a certain amount of trolling, i.e. 95% of it that I never expose or draw attention to because they want the attention, but every once in a while, you need to say, what the fuck is this? Because what the fuck is this? Well, here's the thing, Eve. How do you arrive at 95%? Just a number she pulled out of you know where. 95%. Yes, there are trolls. There are people who put up distasteful memes of Amber and things like that and turds and things like that. Yes, they're out there. But 95% of the people want to know why isn't Amber getting any kind of backlash from the corporations and the mainstream. That's what we want to know. So questions aren't trolling. Questions are very, very different than trolling, unless it's an obvious question that's got nothing to do with anything to trigger people. And if I say something like, well, how come people stick up for Amber Heard when there's LAPD body cam footage against her, when they know she committed perjury, when they know she lied about charity receipts? That's a question. It's not a trolling question because it's a factual question. It's a legitimate question. So really, we've got Eve saying a whole bunch of nothing because the things that she alleged about Rob are completely incorrect. Now you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, how do I know Rob actually works in a courthouse? Well, guess what? Rob actually has made some videos in the courthouse. But I guess people who know Amber Heard and defend Amber Heard aren't interested in things like evidence. They're interested in narratives and making people believe things like Rob is a troll or I'm a troll or she's scared of us. She's scared of a father with kids or two fathers with kids, happily married, never committed a crime in their life. And also, Rob lets us know he's actually an abuse victim. And here's the thing. This is why a guy like Rob could be scared of a woman smaller than him. Because a lot of guys don't like to hit women back. So they're scared of being abused because they're scared that, you know, if I get abused, I can't do anything. I can't defend myself because I refuse to hit a woman. And that's how I think 95% of men are, aside from some minority numbers of men who obviously do. But that's what I'd be scared of. I'd be scared of not being able to defend myself because I won't hit a woman. But I guess that's something that people like Eve and Amber can't understand. They look at it one-sided, like the woman's weaker, man's stronger, that's it. Well, it's not quite like that. And I haven't talked to Rob, but I'm sure, as he said, he got kicked pretty hard in the ribs a few times and he was scared it's going to happen again because he would not hit a woman back. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down below. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Before I go, I would also guess Johnny Depp is probably that type of guy who would not hit a woman. But that's just my silly little speculation and opinion. Anyway, we're done here. If you don't subscribe, I'd be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.